Hello guys and gals, Chartreuse here, and welcome back to the World of Madness. Now, today's episode's probably going to be a little bit of a shorter one. I'm quite busy right now, and just trying to get something done, because I need to get more episodes of this for you guys. You may be able to hear one of the things that's changed. I've got way too many pigs, and that's way too loud. Holy cow, that's loud. Let's make it a little quieter for you guys. So, farms expanded, buildings about the same, tier-wise, uh, this stuff has changed so far, started working on a bit more storage space, tunnel area, more so to mine a bit of cobble for what else has changed. Yeah, big pen, we got lots of crops growing, good supply of carrots right now for the pigs and stuff, still haven't taken any meat yet. Got a bit of a cow starting there. I think I need to expand both these pens, they're a bit small. But the main thing that's changed is we have started working on the building, the expansion to our original room there. And once I get to a decent viewing point, I think up here is probably good enough. Yeah, on top of this, I can reveal. The scale of what we are building and holy cow that takes a lot of ca cobble that's a lot of stone and to think I was gonna do that with a smooth stone we'll see about that we'll see we got a silk touch pick maybe eh, that seems like kind of a waste but yeah so this is being designed as I build it so it's not probably not gonna be the most representative of brutalism that over there is going to most is gonna be uh, pillars underneath. It's not actually going to be a room there. The top part's going to be the room. I'll see if there's going to be a smaller room underneath there, but we've got two towers here. This is probably going to be taller. Not sure, and there might be there's going to be more on that side, I'm assuming. Not sure on the design yet if it's going to end up being I kind of want to go for the brutalism style, but uh, this might end up being a bit cubist, modernist. That sort of thing. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's just a facade right now, and a lot of, a lot of cobble. Even just for this, which is not filled in. So, we're debating on the smooth stone part, that's going to use a lot of coal to get that going. Yeah, so, plan A is this. Yeah, that looks weird, the sun was going weird. So, expand out, it's probably going to end up somewhere around there, it's going to be fairly wide, reasonable width. And run down the length of here, all the way back to that pillar um, there may be another expansion out this way I'm not sure I'm sure of that yet but I want to get that long runner and the central pillar done or the central uh, entrance pillar center of the building done or at least framed in that is the goal Yeesh. it's huge and that's what I was wanting to go for I wanted to build huge things now this is, I gotta have to try and tie this in somewhere. I was thinking of originally building two of those, like closer to here, but I'm not sure how it's gonna work with this overhang. Not even sure how this overhanging the pillars are gonna look. Uh, yeah, but I've it's given me a good idea about the scale I'm wanting. That is probably just big enough. Just. It, it need, you need to build huge to make this look uh, impressive. And to give you room for the detail to do detailing on vertical and horizontal, like these blocks are huge. They're meter, they're meter by meter. So you can build stuff big to get detail. Like here, this would give this is four wide, so it would give me detail to do something like a slightly. Let's just fill this in a little. Something like this kind of look, maybe. Oops. Let's see how that looks. Thinking of something like that, almost. No, it doesn't look very <laughs> impressive in cobble. It would have to be done out of smooth stone, that. But, like, a multi-layered texture type of thing. Well, that might be glass. I don't know. I have to decide. It might be glass runners and uh, slightly indented cobble. Eh, we'll see. Let's take this down because it looks poor. But, yeah, that's what I've been working on a little bit. This is the last few days I've been working on that. More focused on schoolwork. That's taking over right now because apparently at the end of the semester, everything is due. Fourth year in, I'd figure I'd, I'd know that, but yeah. yeah. A lot of assignments get done. 
So I haven't been able to spend too much time, but yeah, this is way too short. And so I guess we will do something. Um, I'm thinking about heading back to spawn and showing you guys the spawn town. I don't think I really did that. I think. We'll see. You'll either see, see me on the way there, or we'll be back here thinking of something else to show if I realize I showed that already. Take care. And we're off. Gonna head out back to spawn. Got interrupted by windows deciding noises are a good thing. Um, I think we might try and find our neighbors again. Hopefully find some sheep on the way. I brought my shears this time. If we can make a bed with us, that'd be nice. Even if we lose our spawn point. Find the killer rabbit. Of Antioch. Oh, that's the holy hand grenade. <laughs> well, getting a bit tired. Hopefully, we, this is probably not going to be the longest video, but we're just trying to get to spawn. Show you guys around there. Yeah, a bit, bit of a glimpse of the western spawn. Last time, I think. And the first episode, oh no, that was the first episode. We were there. Second episode, you got a bit more glimpses. We went to see the Halloween house. Now I think we need to do a proper showing of it. What I really need to do is build another portal. I've got the stuff, I just haven't built it. Amy. But we should have a neighbor over here and that tree looks like it, yep. You're coming up on someone here. Boy chickens. This is, I can't remember whose, castle, house, beacon, lots of beacons. So we're going to get a lot of effects over there. Uh, hopefully they have something saying their name, because I've completely forgotten who this is already. It's been over a month since we did the tour, and I never made a video of that for you guys, so you can't just look up, I can't just tell you to look that up. We are going to try and figure out who this is. Not too far away, kind of render distance, but not too far away. I really hate that. I feel like I'm messing up their garden just by walking. Oh. I'm gonna. Why? I'm just like walking so slowly. It's breaking every path. What? what? It shouldn't be breaking that often. Jeez. Okay, there's a path. I don't feel so bad. Way through this candy cane forest. To this rainbow castle. With jump boost. Please have your name somewhere. I don't. I'm not good with names. Um, well, it's someone's house. Oh yeah, and they got a uh, merry-go-round over there. A carousel thing. I'm not good with words right now, apparently. Uh, we got anti-zombie anti barriers. Let's jump over them. <sighs> You're not going to have your name anywhere here, are you? To be, to be fair, I don't have my name anywhere at Outpost Charlie. Yep, so this is someone's house. Nearby, I'll give you I'll remember a name later, or maybe I'll annotate one in, we'll see. Depends how much time I get. But yeah. House. Pretty impressive castle. Yeah. Alright, see you guys at spawn. Well we decide to take a different route and we're lost. That looks suspiciously like a path. That looks like a lava lake of death. That's where, over there is where we came in. That torch? That looks promising. Maybe. <laughs> um, yes, there's a rail. Or, sure. It's a path. It'll do, I think. I feel like there should be a rail on this track here. Oh no, I'm in redstone. Oh no, this doesn't look right. Where am I? I don't remember this hub. Some mini hub? Is this the main? I think we may have found it. This looks, yep, there we are. <laughs> That's back at the spawn. Oop. Worry, there might be Pikmin. Alerted. Nope, they seem fine. So yeah, this is the gigantic nether hub pretty pretty big and we got monkey and his banana nothing about that just monkey stay bit monkey here and we're already hungry sorry for the poor commentary let's go do something useful 
This is probably the worst episode ever. I'm sure you'll agree with that. Yeah. Did building. I'm stressed with school. Excellent. And still daytime. Still furnaces here. Alright, and welcome to the western spawn. I've never known the normal spawn, so <laughs> this is where I spawned in. Sound like there's another one and we got a DeLorean here that I missed. Oh, should have came here on the 21st. Ah, it's a DeLorean. Gotta ride in it. Gotta go back, Marty. Back to the future. It's about your kids, Marty. Got our flux capacitor. That is awesome. Alright, so here we have Something that's impossible to read. Um, Paradox's pointy place of things. That looks pointy. Uh -huh. I those little coin symbols. Never seen that before. We got an armorer. Uh -huh. Ooh. <laughs> uh, nothing too special. Chain's pretty cool. I'd rather have the opposite of that coal trade. Things. That's pretty cool. And we've got the bar. I believe this is monkeys construction. At one point there was <laughs> someone brought in as a prank a uh, a guardian in here. So that was sitting here barkeeping for a while, killing, blinding everyone. <laughs> And I thought there was a sec used to be a second uh, barkeep here. Guess not. Man, these signs are small. <laughs> Can't read them at 720. Don't you like the pool table with the pool cues in there? That's just awesome. Didn't know they did that. And here is the world map that someone's rotated again. Um, do I need an empty hand to rotate? Yeah. So, where are we on this even? I, I assume to the east? So we are here in the bar, I think. Man, that... Well, I clearly don't recognize going through Mesa, so we've got to have gone this way. And this looks promising, but we had more rivers, so I think we might be off the main map. We're off the map. Yeah, I think this map's not as big of a scale as I think it looks like. So yeah, there's someone's there, they have this cool gumdrop mushroom thing I think was that I think there's this weird rail network going out here I do not recognize most of this map I don't know where we are okay is... oh there's the farm so yeah we ran out this way and we are probably about here so yeah not quite close enough to be on the map yeah that's the those are the big mountains there and that's that actually might be Elbos Bravo right around that area there. Not too sure how the scale is on this. Looks like it's a one to one map, so it's pretty big. <laughs> Got our stage here and everything. Yeah, that's the bar. And that's nighttime. So let's go find a bed to steal. Uh, I know where one is, uh, I think. It's one up here. Uh, yeah. So I think we might just have to cut this short here. I'm not doing too good a job with you guys. Oh, it's not a house. Um, I'd like a bed. I'd like to borrow someone's bed before all the zombies come after me. Oh, that's a shop. Okay, I know there's one over there, but... <laughs> Yeah. Where is a bed? All I need is a bed. You guys sleep, right? <laughs> I'm disappointed. There's the stairs. Upstairs? Up upstairs? No, it's an attic. So yeah, this server is big, and oh yeah, bets. 
Yeah. Ow, 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 ow. Note to self, do not use the top bunk. Um. Okay, so I guess we have to prick our way through this. Um. As we now know where top bunks are dangerous. Who'd have thought? That's why you never build a triple bunk bed. Anyway, I guess I'll leave you here. Probably have another episode out in the next few days. I'll try and make something better than this one to keep you all entertained. Maybe you'll have some redstone in it. Who knows? Anyway, it's been Chartreuse. I guess we'll maybe see you back next time at the spawn. Bye.